Hello everyone. Welcome to Basics e-learning. In lesson number 11 video, I am going to discuss problems on periodic and aperiodic signals. I am going to release this video in two parts. This part one completely explains problems that are related to continuous time signals. That is to check whether the given continuous time signal is periodic or aperiodic and also how to calculate the fundamental time period of the given signal for different models. The basics of this topic is already discussed in my previous videos. I suggest you to be thorough with the concepts before you start with the problems. I am leaving a link in the description box here. Please go through once. The first problem here is determine whether the continuous time signal x of t is equal to cos square 2 pi t is periodic or aperiodic. If periodic find the fundamental period t. So given x of t here is of the form cos square theta cos square 2 pi t given. First we need to simplify this. So cos square theta can be simplified as 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2. Here theta is 2 pi t. So I am writing 1 plus cos 2 theta. 2 into 2 pi t. So 4 pi t divided by 2. So this is nothing but 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 cos 4 pi t. So this 1 by 2 is nothing but the constant or average value of this signal x of t. So this 1 by 2 that is for cos 4 pi t, the coefficient of cos 4 pi t, this 1 by 2 gives the amplitude of this signal cos 4 pi t. So now we, we need to compare this cos 4 pi t with the standard cosine cos omega naught t. So in place of omega naught I have 4 pi right. So that is omega naught is equal to 4 pi. Omega naught is nothing but 2 pi f. So 4 pi I am writing it as 2 pi into 2. So if you compare the frequency f is equal to 2 that is nothing but the time period 1 by t is nothing but f right. So time period t is given by 1 by frequency. So 1 by 2 that is nothing but here 0 0.5 seconds. So the time period the fundamental period t is equal to 0 0.5 seconds here. So the given signal is the fundamental period we have calculated now. So to check whether the given signal is periodic or not the condition to be satisfied is x of t plus t should be equal to x of t. Now let us check. The simplified form of x of t here is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 cos 4 pi t and the time period, the fundamental time period, I got it as 0.5 seconds. To check whether the given signal is periodic or not, x of t plus capital T should be equal to x of t. Let us check this one. So x of t plus 0.5 we need to do. So what is x of t? This is the simplified version. So wherever t is there, I need to write it as t plus 0.5. So check it out. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 cos of 4 pi multiplied by t plus 0.5 here. Right? In place of t, I am writing t plus 0.5. So see. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 cos 4 pi t plus 4 pi into 0.5. Right? That is nothing but half, no? So that will be 2 pi. So if you see this one, this is of the form cos 2 pi plus theta, which is nothing but cos theta. So 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 cos of 4 pi t. So this is nothing but your x of t only. So x of t is nothing but x of t plus capital T here. So the given signal is periodic signal with the fundamental period is equal to 0.5 seconds. The second problem given here is the signal y of t is equal to y1 of t plus y2 of t plus y3 of t where y1 of t, y2 of t, y3 of t have periods 1.08, 3.6 and 2.025 seconds respectively. Determine whether y of t is periodic or not. If it is periodic, determine its fundamental period. So the given signal y of t is the summation of three different periodic signals. So if you add three different fund periodic signals to check, we have to check whether the, the 
signal y of t is periodic or not. So, the procedure here is take the time periods t1 is equal to 1.08, t2 is equal to 3.6 and t3 is equal to 2.025. So, first step is we have to find out the ratios that is t1 by t2 and t1 by t3. Suppose if there is one more signal then calculate t1 by t4 also. So, like that we need to calculate. So, 1.08 divided by 3.6. So, we need to check whether these ratios are rational or not. If all the ratios are rational, then only we can say the signal y of t is periodic. So, check it here. So, this can be written as 108 divided by 360. So, this is nothing but 3 times and 10 times, right? So, 3 by 10, right? So, now this can be written as 1080 divided by 2025, right? So, this is nothing but here 8 by 15. So, both can be bring it into the rational form. So, the given signal that is the summation of all these signals. So, y of t is a periodic signal here. Now, we need to calculate the fundamental time period. So, to Calculate the fundamental time period. This is step 2 determining so that the given signal is periodic. So, step 3 I am doing here. Write down T1 by T2 and T2, T1 by T3 in rational form. That is 3 by 10 here and 8 by 15. So, now find out the GCD of the numerators. Similarly, find out the GCD of denominators. So, for 3 and 8, the GCD is 1. Similarly, for 10 and 15, the GCD is 5. So, in step number 3, you write it as the multiples of your GCDs. So, 3 into 1 divided by here this is 2 into 5. Similarly, T1 by T3 also, you write it 8 into 1 divided by 3 into 5. So, step number 4 is... Find out LCM of all these denominator terms here. So, that is LCM of 2, 5, 3, 5. So, this is nothing but 30. So, L you call L is equal to 30. That is nothing but LCM of all these denominators. So, L is equal to 30 here. The fundamental time period of the given signal, step number 5. The fundamental time period T is nothing but T1 multiplied by L. So, that is 1.08 into 30. That is nothing but 32.4 seconds. So, this is the procedure to calculate the fundamental time period when the given signal is sum of different periodic signals. Let us discuss one more problem on the same procedure that is if the given signal is summation of different periodic signals, so how to calculate whether the signal is periodic or not and how to determine the fundamental time period. So, let us quickly go through. The signal x of t is equal to x1 of t plus x2 of t plus x3 of t where x1 of t, x2 of t, x3 of t have periods of 8 by 3, 1.26 and root 2 seconds respectively. Determine whether x of t is periodic or not. If it is periodic, determine its fundamental time period. So, as I said, first we need to write down t1, t2, t3. Right? So, that is 8 by 3, 1.26 and root 2 seconds. Step 1, we have to determine t1 by t2 and t1 by t3 ratios. And these numbers should be rational. Then only we can say it is periodic. Check it out. 8 by 3 divided by 1.26. So, this is nothing but 8 divided by 3.78. So, can be written as 800 divided by 378. Yes, this is rational form only. Next is 8 by 3 divided by root 2. So, 8 by 3 root 2. So, this is not the rational number. This is irrational number. So, 
we can say this is not a periodic signal. So, the given signal is a periodic signal that is the summation. Though x1 of t, x2 of t, x3 of t are periodic, the summation x of t is a periodic signal. I am making it clear one more time the procedure. Suppose, for suppose if this is also a rational number, then you have to take t1 by t2 and t, t1 by t3. First, we have to find out GCD of numerator and GCD of denominator. Then, write the numerator and denominator in the form of multiples of your GCDs. Then, take LCM. LCM of denominators. Right? That you call it as L. Then, the total time period T is nothing but T1 multiplied by L. This is the time period of that is the fundamental time period of given x of t but in this case we will stop here itself because the given signal is not a periodic signal itself so there is no need to calculate your fundamental time period also next problem is check for the periodicity of the signal x of t is equal to e per j pi t so e per j pi t this is nothing but a complex exponential signal here complex exponential signal is a periodic signal. So, this is nothing but e per j omega naught t form. Now, so anyhow, the complex exponential signal form itself is a periodic signal. So, no need to check the whether it is periodic or not. So, directly we will move on to calculation of periodicity. Now, compare these two. So, omega naught, I am getting it as pi. Omega naught is nothing but 2 pi f, right? So, that is nothing but pi here. Omega naught is equal to pi. So, 2 pi f is equal to pi. So, now if you bring it in this form. So, I will just multiply and divide with the 2. So, 2 pi into in place of f I have 1 by 2 here, right? So, fundamental time period f is equal to fundamental frequency is equal to 1 by 2 then time period t is equal to 1 by f so that is nothing but 2 seconds so the periodicity of the given signal x of t that is the complex exponential signal is equal to 2 seconds the next model that i have selected to solve here is determine whether the continuous time signal x of t is equal to sine of t minus pi by 6 whole square is periodic if periodic, find its fundamental period. So, as I said in the first problem, we need to simplify the given uh, signal x of t. So, you are given with sine of t minus pi by 6 the whole square. So, this is of the form sine square theta. So, I am writing it as 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. So, 1 minus cos 2 theta. So, t minus pi by 6 divided by 2. So, this is nothing but 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 cos of 2t minus this 2 I am bringing it inside. So, pi by 3. So, this 1 by 2 is nothing but the average value of the signal whereas the coefficient of cos term is the amplitude of the signal. Now, also this is not in the original form that is the fundamental form cos omega naught t. But still this is not in that form. So, we can again do the simplification. This is of cos A minus B form. So, can be written as cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. So, I am writing this 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into this I am writing cos A cos B. Cos 2T multiplied by cos pi by 3 plus sin A sin B sin 2T sin pi by 3. So, now we can write the values here. So, 1 by 2 minus. So, here you have this 1 by 2 I am multiplying. So, cos pi by 3 is again 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. 1 by 4 cos 2t. This is root 3 by 2 sin pi by 3. So, root 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 root 3 by 4 sin 2t. Now, we can compare. Again, this is sin 2t and cos 2t. So, now you can compare either of the signals. So, we know that is cos and sin are your periodic signals. So, let us calculate 
t is equal to you can compare this with omega naught omega naught is equal to 2 that is nothing but 2 pi f is equal to 2 here so you can write it as here t is equal to 2 pi by omega naught directly you can write 2 pi by 2 here so pi is equal to your uh, t is equal to pi seconds directly you can write so i'll just compare this as yes, omega naught so t is equal to 2 pi by omega naught so 2 pi by 2 that is nothing but pi seconds so, so the fundamental time period for this given signal is pi seconds for more videos please do like share subscribe to our channel let us know your suggestions and queries in the comment box thank you